We have got an exciting day. We've got the block and beam to get down. Tony's doing his favourite impression of an airport lander. I think you got a bit dirty there. There you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Pete. No worries. Today we have got an exciting day. We've got the block and beam to get down. So we're gonna work on this section here, then this section, and then this section. Then we can get all our pipe runs in and then start dropping all the blocks in as well. So we've got a very hectic day. So the intro is gonna be short and sweet. Let's get on with it and get this done. So guys, we've got the vast majority down now. Unfortunately, we are three beams short, which were actually these ones over here. But because of how we're gonna do the build, what we've done is we've borrowed some of those, which are 2.6 meters for over here, which we need 2.5 meters. So we're just gonna cut these down so they all fit in. And then we can get everything backfilled then, get all these blocks in. So we've got a nice base to work on. And then we can start basically building from this side and work our way over. Because we've got to wait until Tuesday. It's now Friday, we've got to wait until Tuesday for these next ones to come up. Also gives us a bit of time just to get in our pipe works. Our dishwasher is going to go here. Kitchen sink is going to be there. So we need to get our pipe runs in as well, obviously to get the wastewater out and into our new inspection chamber out there. So we're just going to get a nice little path laid out now. So then we can start loading all this area out with all our blocks get all our cuts done get our vents in and ready and then start laying the slips as well so yeah we've still got loads to do so let's crack on So while the guys crack on getting all these cuts done and getting the slip bricks around the perimeters, I am starting now to get the waste in. So we are governed by the existing pipe work, which is this point here. So this inspection chamber will be changed, but ultimately we need to join onto the existing pipe work underground there. So I need to make sure that my fall works out from here to here. So what I've done, I've got my laser set up over there and I'm just gonna laser this around now, make sure I've got the correct fall from this point because this is going to be our furthest point away down and over to there so i need to crack on with that and i need to stop talking because these guys need to use the still so so i know i've not picked up the camera much today but i don't think that you want to miss this ollie's just having a uh, bath on site <laughs> <laughs> rookie error Wore shorts, covered himself in concrete. <laughs> now he's burning. Oh. You'll be all right, Ol. Let's play the game of guess what Pete's making. It's quite going. I just can't wait to see how good he looks in it. Pete's had to build a few splash guards before in his yeah, time, yeah, let's be honest. Let's face it, it wasn't for life. <laughs> <laughs> Improvise, adapt. Uh, no, my <laughs> is it on purpose. <laughs> oh, that's solid. Look at that. Oh and they look good too, mate. Sexy. Sponsored by MKM. There <laughs> 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 you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Pete. No worries. And that's what it is.
that is it for today it's friday so we're gonna have tidy friday as usual and we've got the vast majority of this floor down we've obviously got the area over there which i explained earlier still to sort out and we're in progress we're making good progress with this pipe work we've got a lot of the concrete to break out down here and we've got to actually knock through into that existing chamber to leave our pipe run available for when we move the chamber around there so i'm not going to start doing that now because there's a lot of disruption to do around here and i want to make sure it's safe over the weekend for the clients so that's why i'm not doing that not because i'm being lazy just because we need to leave it safe so like i said it's friday so we're gonna have a good tidy now and then go for a well earned break two days off it's a bit boring isn't it two days, two days a bit yeah boring, isn't it? like last week was four mate. days yeah the same. oh wow well. we'll survive right thanks for watching and we'll see you next week it is monday and as always we're ready and raring to go so it's just me and Alex this morning because Joe is doing his theory test. Good luck, Joe. Alex is cracking on with all these cuts. We've got plenty of cuts to get around here because it's a nice awkward angle with all the beams coming across this way. There's nothing you can't handle, is it, Al? No, mate. No. So I'm just loading some blocks out here for Al. Our delivery is coming in a couple of days. We just need a few extra blocks just to get this done for now. So I started on Friday knocking this bit of concrete out here and we're going to break through into the inspection chamber which is under here the inspection chamber which is here is going to be moved down there further but we're just going to leave the end of the pipe through there so when we come to do all this moving around here we can easily get on it and then we can crack on with this floor so once that's all in place i'll get the final dimensions exactly where that's going to be and that pipe over there in place then we'll literally we'll flaunch it all in so it's nice and solid not going to go anywhere and then we can get the rest of these blocks down and get this area covered a couple of extra beams which we're missing are coming tomorrow so that is all good we can crack on with that then and then the rest of the floor can be done we can get our screening done over the top while well, it's a slurry to seal it all in we need to fill in in between all these doubles as well so that's all solid and then slurry over the top and then we can carry on with the build All the good jobs. I think you got a bit dirty there. No dear. So, if you can still see what's going on after I've destroyed the camera. Basically, I'm down to the height I need to be there. I just need to break this last bit of concrete out here now. Make a nice channel, get rid of all the excess rubble, and then set my pipe in. So I literally just want to get the end of the pipe through. I'll cap it off for now, just so no rats or anything can get through it. Not that they're going to go anywhere if they do, but you know, good practice just to cut the end off. When we do come to move the inspection chamber there, I can easily just get on the end of it and bring that straight into the new chamber here. Cool, let's do it. Got on well today, got my pipe working and sorted, started knocking out the chamber, got rid of some of the concrete ready for the lintels to go through. You have to do a little bit of a pour around there to carry some lintels as well as get all those new chambers in as well. Alex has absolutely smashed it with the brickwork. I'd expect nothing less from Alex. He's good, he's good. These are all running nicely now. That is up to damp, so we're all good with this now. So tomorrow, I'm going to carry on running the brickwork all the way around as far as we can until the beams arrive. And then you can return with the block work. Then we can get the cavity filled and then we can get the floor slurried. And then we're cooking on gas. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed building with us today. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. The beams are coming today as so we can get this floor finished off. And today we're going to start excavating down here for our new inspection chamber here. And we're also putting 
a new inspection chamber in here which will carry all the services from what will be the shower room downstairs it's going to be a bit of a difficult dig because we're quite tight for space so we're going to use the digger we've moved all this fencing out of the way so we can swing around still with the bucket and get it into the tack barra so it's going to be fun but we can do it nothing we can't handle So we've done our excavation here. Now what we're gonna do, we'll get our chamber in place and then we're gonna basically cut through here a section ready for when our service pipe comes through from inside. Cause if you remember me saying, the pipe which is currently there is gonna go inside the house and then it will drop down internally and then come out through under the ground into this gully here, into our inspection chamber. So we need to make sure that we're making provisions now while we're in this state. So when we come to do the move over the switch over it's a lot easier than trying to break out stuff from internally and messing stuff around so like i said because this is already open now we can just do this in preparation for the big switch over so we're going to get this in now find out exactly where it's going mark this get it cut and then we can start carrying on getting this dug out and then we can start backfilling get it all back in place making good progress. We've took out the area for the chamber and now we're going to carry on with the area for the point where which is going to interlink that chamber by where Tony is now to the chamber which is directly here. Just down there. Tony's doing his favourite impression of an airport lander or whatever they're called. <laughs> That's it. You just need your big lollipop sticks. <laughs> Luckily he's got his earphones on the can't hear what I'm saying <laughs> until he watches this back. So yeah we're going to get this dug, dug out now, rip this out through here and then we can get our new chamber in here as well. Let's crack on. I've had to do a hand dig under here to expose that because where the pipe came through into the chamber the bricks were obviously built up here and it's literally right on a knuckle so I've had to dig back even further so I can cut this knuckle and then get our cupper on for our temporary supply but you've seen that I've been using the digger I've been using the big breaker in here to get rid of all this concrete and look what was hidden in between it all that is the water main so how I have not gone through that is an absolute miracle because yeah I've had that go in that go in scraping away blissfully unaware that this bad boy was lurking beneath so now I've got to try and get under there with this to cut this knuckle away and then I can get my what is it Tony knows Tony what is it it's an AQ 3000 or something it's a coupler basically clay to plastic which will go over here and then connect our new plastic four inch down straight away up here. We're just gonna do a temporary connection tonight just so the clients can use the toilets. And then tomorrow we can crack on and get the rest of it in. Okay, let's do it. So our temporary pipe is in. We've got our clay to plastic coupler on there. Obviously this isn't gonna be left in permanently because it doesn't look that great and it probably wouldn't last. Our beams did arrive today. They've just been left at the front because we've all been very busy. So hopefully we'll be able to get these in tomorrow. We've had a good day. And now it's nearly time to go home. Nearly. Only, only a few more hours. Yeah. 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 Right. Thanks for watching. 
see you tomorrow. Today, as usual, we've got a busy day. You know us, we're always busy. Me and Tony are working in the trenches. It's like World War II all over again, isn't it, Tony? It's going to be eventful today. <laughs> It's eventful because it's Wild Wednesday. We're going to be having Mackies, yes. Wild Wednesday. Yes. I was fighting for Wild Wednesday yesterday, weren't I? It just, Wild Tuesday hasn't got the same ring no, to it. No, it Wild Wednesday. Yeah, eventful. it's the thing, mate. It's the thing. Right, so today we are going to get all this lot in. All the point work is going to be finished today so the clients can use the toilets and everything as normal. We've had, as I showed you last night, a bit of a temporary put on there. So we've disconnected that now. We've told the clients first that we've disconnected it because, you know, we don't want any nasty surprises. So we're gonna get all this run in, get all this pipe work here connected in as well for our kitchen, utilities, and then we can continue with our block and beam, get all this backfilled and continue. So Alex is cracking on with all this brickwork and the block work has been brought to damp as well. Probably tomorrow now we can get this cavity filled as well. And once the block and beam's in, we can get the slurry down on this floor like I've mentioned previously. Tell us about the new ox shovel that we've just uh, purchased, Joe. It's a shovel. It is, but it's what? Small. Yeah, it's a small shovel. It's good for basically if you're in a tight little area and you're working in this, you're digging away and you've got this bad boy here, you're gonna end up taking chunks out of your knuckles or just not being able to maneuver properly. This little bad boy, use it one-handed, you can get in there, scrape around, you're not hitting your elbows. So yeah, it's just perfect for working in condensed places, John. Good bit of kit, isn't it? Great bit of kit, man. Now that we've finished digging all the trenches, we've got one. Yeah, we'll put it to the test on the next <laughs> job. <laughs> so, next up, what we're doing, this existing clay soil pipe cut back to here, being careful of the water main, obviously, which runs through there. We can then get our coupler on, get our inspection chamber on here, and then we can do all our connections that we need to do, get it graveled up, get it covered over. This down pipe is gonna stay, so we're gonna need some way of getting the rainwater off this roof from this point. We're gonna break all this section out and just connect straight on, put a new gully on there and run that into our chamber as well. So what we're doing all this, it's just easier just to get this done now rather than later on down the line when we have to disturb everything we've already done. So we'll get that on, get our point working, get our other chamber in there, get it all connected. And then we're in business. We can backfill, job done, and we're out of here. Right, so we've got our AC4000, which is now gonna go onto our clay pipe down here. Because the old clay pipes are actually bigger than our modern plastic, this just allows for a nice joint between the two. Obviously the clay is wider, plastic smaller. So we just pop this on here, make sure it's all nice and clean. It's got a nice clean edge on it as well. Drop that straight on there like that. Up to the inside of the bung, so it's basically coming up to here internally. And then get yourself a screwdriver. You can also use a socket on here, but I'm going old school and literally tighten up the Jubilee clip. Not bad. There we go, that's going nowhere, that's absolutely solid and our plastic pipe will fit straight in here. So we're just going to get our inspection chamber, get it to where we want it to be and then we can get a, se get a section of pipe then out the side of that, straight into our new connection and then we can start stoning this up, get some MOT in the bottom, then some pea gravel for it all to sit on and we're good to go.
we have done very well today. We've got all this in, we've got our connection on, we've got our new chambers in, we've got our pipe running through here. We're gonna put some pea gravel in this area here because when we bring the soil pipe inside, it will actually run into this chamber just down there. Same down there as well. We're gonna do a bit of magic down there just to make our lives easier later on down the line. And Alex has done some wonderful brickwork. He is absolutely smashing through this. Obviously you can't see it all because he's covered it over. It's gonna be a bit cold tonight. So just to make sure that there's no uh, frost gets into it, we don't want any of that to be. Busy day, it's done. Tomorrow's Thursday. Goodbye, thank you for watching. <laughs> see you later. Today's little goal is, well for me anyway, is to get a pipe in here, which is gonna run up to this point and then just be blanked off. So when we turn this area here into the shower room, we can easily connect onto that and that will go straight into our inspection chamber here. I've got a gully to connect up there into that outlet down there, that one there. So that will be ready again. We can get all this back filled then with stone, pea gravel around this area, pea gravel obviously over our soil pipe there and then MOT the rest. We've also got to get some shutter in built here, fill that with concrete. Once that's gone off, we can then bridge across here with some lintels so the wall can continue across here. Obviously get all this pipe work around here, flaunched in as well. Then we can continue with the block and beam. Once that's gone off fully, obviously we can get that across, block and beam across, job done. Alex is gonna crack on with his brickwork around here, getting up, up to course, because this is the height of the course of bricks. The rest of it's gonna be block after this. You can see the original build, we've got brickwork and then render and that will obviously be mirrored then on the extension. So this is the actual height of brickwork uh, and then yeah, blocks all the way up. We've got white on seven Newton blocks internally and then three and a half Newton blocks externally, which will all receive a rendered finish. So yeah, a good day ahead of us. So let's crack on. Okay, so we've got our gully in, that is in place ready. We're obviously gonna shore that up when we've got a, a bit more stone underneath it. And um, we've got our other pipe there, which will run into our shower room. That's all connected nicely. So what we're gonna do now is get fully filled with pea gravel completely because we've got the clay pipe under there and we've got to fill with pea around here as well. So there's gonna be a lot of gravel which goes in this area to make sure the pipes are covered and make sure this inspection chamber, chamber is safe as well. Go for it. There's many, many, many more where that came from. <laughs> Let's carry on. So what we need to do now is basically bring all our stone up to ground level so we can use this nice and safely and get through this walkway easily with our machines and ourselves without causing ourselves damage. So what we're gonna do is cover up these inspection chambers. What I'm gonna do is use some ply, which is here. Basically mark around the inside of this to make one piece and then slightly wider diameter around the top and then I'll glue them together or screw them together and then they all sit in top of these then. We'll put some rope in the middle as well as a little handle and then what we can do is completely fill this level, bury these for now and then when we come to actually get this ground area sorted out, we can simply scrape back, pull this out, get our proper chamber in, our proper uh, cover, sorry, and then we're good to go. But just for now, it's a temporary measure just so we can use this walkway nicely easily. So I'll get my jigsaw set up, get this marked up and get these in place. So this is it. The inspection chamber cover handcrafted on site by uh, drain cover artisans. Okay, me, I just made it with a jigsaw on the back of the flatbed. So it's gonna literally just sit like that, sit in there, and then we can just cover straight over the top. And then when we need to get it out, we can. Put a knot on top like this so it can't fall back through. And a knot underneath like that so it can't drop back that way. Joe is just uncovering our first chamber. Splendid. All right. It's a flowage. There we go. We're on, that's nice and solid, fill straight over the top of that, and then we can use this area then as a walkway again. So, I've got the gully in, that's all flaunched in nicely, so that's nice and solid and won't go anywhere. 
We're starting on with the pea gravel as well. Alex and Joe have been busy getting the cavity filled in. So the cavity gets filled two courses below damp. It's just standard practice. So that has all been done all the way around, around here in all the cavity, all the way around. That's a lean mix, so it's a five in one mix. And then what Alex can do now is start building up internally with all the block work. Next up, we've got a breakthrough here. So what we need to do is basically get a Kanga in here and break this out. By the time we got our falls and managed to couple on onto our existing clay pipe up there, it did mean that this chamber was a lot higher than we anticipated, which means then it's gonna basically hit, it's gonna foul on this. Just bout on braces, we'll get a lint to the cross there as well, just to make sure that there's no, no issues. So yeah, that's the next job. You can see I've got as far under as I can, but obviously I'm getting trapped uh, against this inspection chamber. So it is coming down a little bit of an angle. So all I'm gonna do now is get this pea graveled, put a small section of pipe in here, cap it with a coupler on the end as well. So it's just sticking in about this much. So it's underneath the wall. So then when we dig the floor out internally, we can just dig straight down. It'll be covered in pea gravel as well. So the pipe won't get damaged. And as soon as we hit the pea gravel, we know the pipe's there. So we just do a little scrape about, get it out, and then we can couple straight onto this then. Right, that's it. The end of another day. We've all got on very well today, as usual. Alex is absolutely smashing the block work in now. So these will be around. The speed he's going probably be up by tomorrow night. Mind you, it's Friday tomorrow. So we have a fry up. Are you having a fry up tomorrow? Yeah, mate. Yes. I've got all that backfield now as well. So all the pea gravel's in, MOT's over the top. So all we've got to do now is tidy up and go home. Good morning guys, welcome along to another day. It's Friday and we've got another busy one. We're just about to measure out for the windows now because there's a window going over there and there's a window going here. Then what we're gonna do is just get this chamber finished off here, just gonna cut that down, carry on with the stone in, drag some of this out and put that around here because the clients are actually gonna have a bit of a planting area around here. So any excess soil that's on there, we're gonna drag that out, put it here and then dress this with MOT. There are gonna be paving slabs down this walkway here. There's also a bit of making good to do on the ground just behind that block wall over there, so I'll jump on that. Got to do the shutter in for our concrete, which is going in here. We're gonna get, obviously, lintel across this four inch pipe. So we need to put in a smaller little pad of concrete in there. Make sure these are in exactly the right position and then we can crack on, get the rest of the block and beam in. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So we've got our hole dug. This will now form a small pad now for the lintels to carry across. We're also gonna tooth into this wall as well for the existing brick. We're, this wall actually is coming down here, so the bricks will carry straight across and go onto this footing. So it's a very small area that we're bridging across here. And what we're gonna do, Joe's just sorting out the shutter in, so we're gonna shut her down this edge here and across the back there. Because it's small, we're just gonna put a few bits of extra rebar in there. 
I know us, our American watchers will appreciate the rebar in the foot end. In the UK, we don't need it. Well, in some places we do, but a lot of places don't specify rebar. That's why we don't put it in foot ends. So we're just gonna get some rebar set up in there. I'll put a few spikes through either side, through the bottom as well. Possibly lay some in the middle of the foot in as well as we're, as we're pouring it. We'll get that tamped off level with this foundation here. So our, our lintels can just span straight across there from this foot in onto our new pad when that's gone off. That'll probably be on Monday now. Uh, and then yeah we're good to go as soon as that's in then we can get our beam through we are gonna have to move this pipe slightly out because it's got uh, the beams are 95 mil wide so we need to make sure that this is 95 mil off the wall but we'll still have enough clearance to get that in to our sink at a later time so that'll all be fine we've cleared away some of this footing as well because this was sticking right out here and was obviously impeding because that is our height down there we've got a match over here and this concrete was sticking out slightly so we've got rid of all that Okay, so here is our little shuttering setup. The top of this piece of shuttering here is level through with this foot in, so we can literally just tamp straight off this onto there, and we know that's all nice and level. I've got some bits of rebar in there. I've also made sure that this one's in the right place because our units are going to come across here, and then there's going to be a breakfast bar area here. So this is coming back just in the side, inside the back of the units. So when we put our reducer on this down to inch and a half, that will fit nicely in. So now what we're going to do is mix up some concrete. Hi, Pete. Hi, hi, hi. Get all these points set so that will never move anywhere. Get our little footing built as well, and we're good to go. Okay, so all our concreting is done. We've done our little pad there, which will carry our lintels. And I've also flaunched in around the main points on our pipe runs. I've also done halfway in this pipe run as well, and around here. So that's all solid now and will go nowhere. I've marked across, you can see this bit of timber laid here. So these units here, the dishwasher is going there, which is approximately here. And the back of the units will run in line with the wall, which is that there because this actually carries on through here. This is two separate worktops and this worktop is gonna be slightly lower than this one. And that will run through with the back of the wall so the units will butt up against that. So that's why I brought it through with the back of the wall there. So that will basically be the back of the units. There's a bit of tolerance there. So when we get our producer on here, going down to inch and a half, it'll basically come at the back and then it'll allow us to get our flexi pipe in to here. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do now is just get stoned up around this pipe as well, just in case there's ever any sagging. You know, there won't be, but it's just good practice just to make sure this is all shored up nicely so I'll do all that get the blocks back over so it's all covered over so let's go on with it Right guys, that is it. Another week is done. Loads of block work up, loads of brick work up, more floor down, pipe runs all sorted, new drainage in, ready for the next lot, for all our coupling in, for all our new fittings from the house, from the new extension and the new stuff. Thank you very much for watching us this week. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Also subscribe, and if you've got any questions about anything we're doing, leave a comment in the box below and we will try our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you on Monday.